Hello, and today we are going to be doing a television uh, slash movie review. So, uh, today we're going to carry on our Doctor Who series and talk about Doctor Who Episode 4 um, Aliens of, New of London. Now, in this episode, it's uh, we return to the action with the Doctor and Rose really travelling for 12 months but he's been able to go through time and it'll only be maybe 12 hours since she left. Now in the intervening time of course um, Rose's mother Jackie has been going frantic, really worried, really worried to think has she been kidnapped, has she been murdered and uh, one of the chief suspects in this for Jackie is Rose's boyfriend Mickey who has also been really frantic not being able to talk to her, not being able to you know see her or anything like that they've been really worried so when they arrive back in London she goes home the doctor does advise her not to tell her mother or her boyfriend what she's been up to so um, when they're there after explaining to her mum and Mickey that she's alright nothing's gone on it's just been fine she's only been out with a few of her old friends um, you hear and you see that a, spa a an alien spaceship is flying over London with smoke coming out of it crashes straight into the face of Big Ben and uh, finally crash lands in the River Thames. Suddenly this happens, um, the city of London shuts down completely, no one's allowed to move, so the Doctor and Rose decide to jump into the TARDIS and head to uh, the crash site. They end up going to um, where the supposed alien body has been taken, which is a hospital near the River Thames. And uh, you find out that it's a pig, a, 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 an ordinary pig from Earth that has been genetically transformed by alien technology to be able to walk and be able to control the spaceship. The Doctor also finds out that the spaceship actually started its flight from Earth. So it's, um, so f from this you discover that um, there's aliens already in London. Now, government are frantic, thinking, what's going on? Is this the first contact from an alien race? and they can't contact the British Prime Minister. Um, we soon discover that uh, the British Prime Minister has gone missing, so they have to find someone who can play, can be the acting Prime Minister, until they find the actual Prime Minister. They, f um, they find someone who... Um, quite a large gentleman and he calls a special cabinet meeting where a lot of um, larger members of parliament come down to Downing Street for this meeting. The doctor and Rose manage to sneak in to these, this meeting and you find out that it's actually um, an alien race. This is all witnessed not only by the Doctor and Rose but also by a junior backbencher, Harriet Jones, and um, she has witnessed all of these people unzipping and releasing their true alien forms from 
these uh, fat members of parliament, you find out that they're all a member, they're all members of this one alien family who are criminals and they're trying to take over the world. Now, over there, one of the aliens actually sends out, um, throughout the, the, the whole of Downing Street, a um, an electric sh pulse. Now, over there, to the follow-on episode, which is the second part of this story, which is called World War Three. Um, with Rose and the Doctor and Harriet trapped in the r in rooms in Number Ten Downing Street, the Slovene actually um, block all communication to the outside world. So they can only really communicate in house. Um, but Rose's altered mobile phone is she's able to ring up Mickey, and because of this, the Doctor is able to instruct him into being able to contact and hack into Unit's website and be able to um, try and send out a message. Finding this out, the Slovene basically declare national security and basically declare World War Three. basically um, instructing the Navy, the Royal Navy, to um, send bombs and to, to blow up number 10 Downing Street saying that there are um, dangerous aliens trying to take over the British government which of course there are but people don't really realise that the people giving the orders are the aliens uh, once it has all been um, cleared up you find out that um, majority of all majority of the Slovene have all died, apart from one who has um, was able to transport herself away just before the explosion. Doctor, the Doctor Rose and Harriet were able to survive because they um, went into a small cupboard. After they are rescued, they go back to Rose's where Jack, Jackie, Rose's mum, sort of accepts the Doctor and invites him to come to dinner. The Doctor declines this offer. And um, um, after this, the Doctor offers Mickey the chance to travel with him and Rose in the TARDIS. Mickey uh, decides to say no to this. Later on, Rose has the same idea and asks if she um, the Doctor would let Mickey the Doctor knowing that Mickey doesn't really want to come basically says I don't want him, I don't like the guy he, he would ruin you know, what fun we can have in the TARDIS and this is the end of the episode now the score I'm going to give Episode 4, The Aliens of, the Aliens of London, and Episode 5, World War 3, are um, roughly the same, which is number 3. Thank you very much for watching, and I shall see you next week. Goodbye.